Good evening, I'm Joe Netherworld, and welcome to your daily tarot card reading for Thursday, October 3rd. And I don't even like to see, to see these days progress. It's scary how much I love October, you know, pumpkins and such. <laughs> There'll be a lot more as the days go by. Um, but uh, it is the days of the month, and this is a very important month. Uh, it's, for me, the most important month of the year because it's the countdown to the end of the year. You know, the witch's year ends on um, Halloween. So what this month is going to really show us is not only the day, of course, uh, and I say this almost every day, the month, the year, but so keep a, a real, um, you know, keen eye out for what you see around you and what I'm telling you and try and piece it in to kind of put the year in perspective as well. But we're still, let's deal with today, right? That's, that's enough. Today's enough for us to deal with. So our first card up is the High Priestess, which is a very powerful, magical card. It's the most magical card in the deck. Um, as far as intuition is concerned. The magician itself is more, is another magical card, it's the male form, and it also uh, it seems it's more of a logic-based thing. But this is intuition, it's uh, female power, uh, it's about um, religious power as well, about finding your spirituality. So that's our first you know, qualifier card, because there'll be a qualifier, the main card of the day, what this card is about, is this one, which is the Empress. So we're having a real, like, Women's Day with a Y, I guess, however they say that. <laughs> and uh, um, so the Empress is a strong female force, of course. It's, it's mothers. It's um, ruling the house and the family. It also um, has a lot to do with uh, f female bosses and is exerting, and, um, you know, asserting yourself, not even exerting yourself, but sometimes you have to, to get things done, in the workplace where you'll have a um, you're going to be put up to being the boss. You know you're not the boss, people sort of rely on you being the boss, and that is uh, problematic in some ways. Not terribly so, but you know, you're doing more work than you're getting paid for. But there's a lot of women's forces in here, and this is usually a sign that uh, pregnancy is around, that there's a, uh, a coming pregnancy, and uh, that's a sign too. So any of you who are considering that, that's a real, this is a day that fertility and the other qualifier is the Seven of Cups, which is, you know, this, is this is getting more and more about pregnancy <laughs> and personal um, goals being born today. Seven of Cups is sort of like a random, it's, it's sort of like everything's available, uh, good and bad, and that you can give birth to bad ideas or good ideas. Uh, so what it's really calling for is a lot of uh, high priestess action, a lot of uh, intuition, and thought and magic, you know, practice a little bit of preventative magic today to make sure that, you know, the Empress has her due. Now here, it, it, this is also about connecting um, with the female side of your family, your female friends, and asking advice, but taking that advice. This is not a day for gossip, and not, nor is it a day for frivolous uh, questions. It's really about asking serious questions and uh, we're, um, respecting the, the, the female force, the in, intuitive creative forces that are around you. And female forces not always reside in females, so keep that in mind too. They're good, you know. <laughs> if you're drag queens and other more ladies than the ladies I know. Anyway, uh, so that, on that uh, aside, what uh, I take today and, and learn this up for the rest of the year is if you're thinking about getting pregnant or that starting that part of your family, today is a real day to look at the forces of your life and see if there room, like is it time to get pregnant? And if you want to be pregnant or want to um, have a family or adopt a dog or any kind of extension of a, a, a female uh, motherly family type of unit, that you uh, should look at all the forces around you and rule out some of the the cups that are containing bad things. In other words, you, you know, it, just too many choices around you and too many uh, obstacles that might be in your way, then not all of them, but be analytical as well as spiritual and clear that out. And then get ready for the rest of the year, because this might be the year that you decide to get a family going and get pregnant. So keep that in mind. And if you don't want to get pregnant, I wouldn't mess around today. So keep that in mind too. So with that, I will uh, see you again tomorrow night, around midnight, you know, tonight around midnight, I should say, a little bit after. And uh, if, you subscribe, if you subscribe to the channel, you'll uh, get that automatically. Until that time, I remain yours. 
magically in waiting, Joe Nether.